Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for another edition of Gruel Dinosaurs. This is a donation deck from Joyv that is a uh, regular feature here to the stream and it's one of our very most successful donation decks too. We've had a ton of success with this deck previously. Our last run uh, we didn't do as well but it was just kind of a variance thing. And we're hoping to uh, stay aggressive and smash some opponents here this time. Main change we're doing is last time we added in Brontodons over Domries. But the Brontodons weren't too impressive. So we're taking out those Brontodons and putting in a couple Collision Colossus that we can either get rid of some Flyers or most of the time what we're going to be doing is casting this Colossus and giving our creatures Trample, making them bigger. Um, and that's what we have. So we have a ton of dinosaurs. We want them to have haste with either Registaur Alpha or Huntmaster. And we want to just attack, 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 and um, end some games quickly. So that's the plan. It's worked out pretty well in the past. Let's see how we do. Thanks, Emmanuel. Yep, I picked the sleeves. I got we got the gruel sleeves, which I, I really like the gruel sleeves. So put the gruel sleeves on there. And we have Lazar for our avatar. Ooh. Alright, good hand. Especially if we can get some more mana. Yeah, these these sleeves are fire. Woo! Light them up, 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 light it up, up, up. Love having Huntmaster, though. The Otepic Huntmaster. We can already attack with Ripjaw next turn. If our opponent doesn't kill our Huntmaster, that is. Turn three, four, five, haste. You want to block it? We draw a card. Deal? Deal. Lazav the Multifarious is our avatar. Yeah, I guess that's the card, but it's Lazav. The leader of the Demir. Woo! Next turn, Registor Alpha with haste. Oh, yeah. This is our curve. Turn two, Huntmaster. Turn three, Ripjaw. Turn four, Huntmaster. Or sorry, Registor Alpha. <laughs> turn four, Reggie. And then next turn we draw a land and we have Carney Tyrant. Boom. Who's the aggro deck now, opponent? So Mono White seems like Fiery Cannonade should be pretty good for us. It does kill our Huntmasters. Um, what are you thinking here, Joey? If I'm thinking... Maybe just Cannonade, and I don't really know what to take out, though. Like, our our deck's pretty good in this matchup. De Death Court Scavenger, I guess this card's pretty small. Yeah, maybe we take this one out. Hey, Minister, welcome back. So you've been away from Magic for a year. Well, welcome back. And then maybe another Collision Colossus or a Lava Coil. No, I don't, even, I don't know if we need Lava Coil. Maybe just another Colossus. Let our things attack on over. I think Lava Coil over Shock, just in general. Lava Coil does kill Benelish Marshall, which is an important thing. No, not teaching anymore. I'm doing this full time, streaming here full time. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like playing Lava Coral over Shock. Weighty Cakes with the bits as well. Thanks, Weighty Cakes. 
Cheers. Yeah, so this is what I stream here each and every day. From 3 to 10 Eastern is my normal times. Tomorrow we're doing a special 12 hour stream. Yeah, getting rid of Benelich Marshall is pretty critical. Danto Vanguard? In this economy? So going with the Ripjaw over Territorial Allosaurus. Even though it doesn't it attacks for one less, but we have we maybe have the ability to kick the Allosaurus later, depending on what else happens. And I like how if they want to block it, they have to. We get to draw a card. I guess Snubby, we don't get to draw a card from Snubby, but Scruffy is playing a Naya Battlement deck, Battlement plus Branchwalker plus two Mirror Marches. Just won me the game. But an Assassin Trophy to a few of my cards and gave me all the mana I needed. Alright, so we'll go Mountain, Mountain, Huntmaster. And then now Allosaurus is only two mana. So we'll go two mana for a 5 5 haste. And yeah, we're, we're definitely trying to race here. Especially with having Colossus. Not sitting back and playing D. Do I trade Huntmaster for Vanguard? No. Turning their 1-1 into a 1-1 a one -one lifelinker. Ripjaw's good, but we don't get to cast Ripjaw. Let's take the commune, or let's take the forest so that if we find Regisaur Alpha, I want to find Regisaur Alpha. Basically, I want more green mana. Hmm. Well. So much for all that. Is this the turn for Trample with Territorial Allosaurus or not? Or do I just commune again? Alright, looking for Carnage Tyrant. Alright, Reggie's good enough. So attacking here just turns their one one into a, a their one one here into a life linker. So I'll sit back on defense for one turn. And next turn, attack in with all of this stuff. Wow, that is a bad attack. Wow, that was a bad attack. Oh my gosh. How is our opponent even doing this? They didn't even know I have this register alpha. They're just going to be at like negative million.
just taking it. I mean, they just they just had themselves just put themselves to lethal anyway with just the card they knew about in our hands. Yeah, because even if they block, they're taking lethal. Wow. Okay. Well, still, we hope we have those kind of hands for the rest of the games. You know, having Otebic Hotmaster on turn two, and then, like, you know, we had uh, Ripjaw Raptor on three. Both of those games saw the power of Otebic Hotmaster, given the haste, us just outclocking Mono White. <laughs> Top Deck King says, I play a lot of White Weenie, and that made me embarrassed. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a suicide attack with no upside. <laughs> Still teaching math after all. <laughs> Is there a reason to play this commune right now? Yeah. We could draw we could draw the two mana two mana creatures. While there wasn't a, a two mana dinosaur to go grab, we could draw our two mana accelerants, or even just like a removal spell on turn two that we need, you know, anything like that that we need to play. I am certainly worried about our. Oh, this is Teamer Reclamation. I am worried about our, our mana situation here. I was. I was definitely considering. Definitely considering taking the land. But all we need is just one more land to get to Red Shore Alpha. Hopefully we can just find one more. Come on deck, one more mana. That was the other thing about saving Scavenger for Chemistry's Insight, but it's just kind of too hard. We have to just keep playing our, our cards. We have to curve out. We can't wait on scavenger. Come on, deck, draw a land, draw a land, draw a land. We kept four lands, but then we put four lands at the bottom. Mm. Did not get there, not good. Think a modern deck based on Smothering Tithe, Time Reversal, and Emergency Powers. What about get some Days Undoing? As long as you have, like, Days Undoing works in there too, right? Nothing costs three mana. There are not any more busted cards in Standard than, than Wilderness Reclamation. In my opinion, I think it is the absolute best card in standard. It breaks the mana system of the game, which is the core to one of the core, which is one of the core principles of magic, is mana, and Wilderness Reclamation breaks it. Having turn five explosion for six.
No, I don't believe Reclamation is tempered with all the enchantment destruction in the metagame right now. There is certainly some, but it's not like it's overflowing or anything. All right, here we go. Maybe our opponent has no fog effects. Or we can draw another burn spell. We have three more lightning strikes. We're playing four strike and we have two shock. It just doesn't make a, a, a ton of sense to play another Red Sword Alpha. Whoa, no fog effect. All right. Did not find one. Let's get all four of the Cinder Vines and four Spellbreakers. And maybe these Colossuses. Maybe not. We'll see. So what's coming out is the Savage Stomp. Oh, Joy, have you, you played this matchup a ton more. What do, you, what do you think we are taking out here? Like, are we just taking out all the Carnage Tyrants? We're trying to cut down like that. Do we want to get rid of all the shocks and lightning strikes? I think, actually, that's probably what we want to do. Yeah, get rid of the shocks, lightning strikes. Um, no good answers. Galta, territorial. I guess territorial, more power than Ripjaw. But Ripjaw does draw us a card. Get rid of these things, actually. Yeah, we'll get we'll get rid of these. I don't know. They could have like their crisis. Hmm. Let's go two of those, and we'll get territorial allosaurus back in here. Four mana, five five. All right, let's go with this. I don't know about taking out Galta. I feel like by the time Galta is coming down and, and hasting, we're already like killing our opponent with our other creatures, though. I think we can deal with this. Definitely really like having Cinder Vines for turn two. And, you know, relying on Commune to find a red source. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard. There we go, found one. Love to draw Gruel Spellbreaker here. Ooh, I thought that was Spellbreaker. Just taking the another land, making sure we have enough lands. <laughs> Talking about busted card, where does search for Canter rank in your top three of busted cards? Ooh. So yeah, number one's definitely Wilderness Reclamation for me. Number two, there's there's a good amount of different cards you could have at number two, and search for Canta could certainly be number two. I could see an argument for that. I'd have to really think about it, but 
first ones that come to mind. That's a, that's a good one. Obviously, Teferi is another one. Um, besides that, Experimental Frenzy could also be number two. <clears throat> um, Hey, what's up, McCarty? Line up the stage. I don't think it's there. You know, one mana draw two. It's at its best, but... <clears throat> I don't think light up is... Like, light up is better in powered formats, but in standard, specifically... You know, like, when you go to, like, more powerful formats like modern, light up the stage is going to be a lot better than frenzy. But I think with standard, I think Frenzy is there. Uh, Thought Erasure. Yes. You get all the information in the game. Takes away, you know, any kind of bl bluffing or anything like that. And you get to take the opponent's best card and you get to surveil one. So our opponent's blocking Registrar Alpha, but this deals 10 to them and puts them down to 2. And I have a Cinder Vines in play. So if they cast 2 spells, they die. They have to have, like, Crushing Canopy right here. They have to have some kind of Disenchant effect for, like, this first card. Yeah, Thought Erasure is a really good one. Yeah. That's the thing. If we get to untap and sack the Cinder Vines, we get to kill our opponent also. So our opponent has to have a disenchant effect right here because Cinder Vines kills them. Yeah, they're they're just dead. <laughs> Unless they have, like... I don't know. They have to have Crushing Canopy here and then Fogs. And a lot of Fogs. That's what they need. So they're not dead dead. But if they have Crushing Canopy and a Fog effect... Yeah, we kind of have them, even even if they play like Nexus, which is maybe what they're doing, kind of have them in the hard lock with the Cinder Vines. There we go. Big haste creatures, like Cinder Vines backed up by very large creatures. That's tough for Reclamation. And even though we didn't start playing creatures till turn four, but we had Territorial Allosaurus on turn four, Registrar Alpha turn five, Carnage Tyrant turn six, after the turn two Cinder Vines. So I think so I think that sounds like a pretty good top five of busted cards in standard. With Wilderness Reclamation, and then the other four being being number one, and then the other four in some order being Search for Escanta, Thought Erasure, Experimental Frenzy, and Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. It's kind of crazy how, like, before rotation, I mean, Search for Escanta was in the format, but, like, all those other cards are pretty new. Fairy used to be a lot more hated, but then they're like, oh, here's Wilderness Reclamation, and you just forget about... They're like, here, you, you want to forget about Teferi? I'll give you this. Please no Explore Creature opponent. Our life would be a lot easier if they do not have an Explore Creature. Don't do it. No. Thought Erasure is miles better than Drillbit. It never happened. 
those kind of cards. Just, just on a different level. Yeah, costing less and also the the surveil setting <laughs> setting up your draw steps and and you know you get to surveil after you already know what your opponent's entire hand is and everything. It's Make way for your captain. Your days on I'll be taking that. Yeah, we're dead. Just attack with everything, opponent. What are you doing? Attack with everything. I'm just I'm just dead. Nah, uh, wow. I mean, when you have games like this, you know, Wild Growth Walker looks ridiculous, but it's not as, it's not, it's, you know, it's, it's all the, it's like a whole package, you know, it's synergy with other cards. It's not by, on its own, like the other cards. So we need coils. And yeah, do we just cut the shocks and then a collision? I think we're definitely going to miss not having Domri for this matchup. No, that was where we won this one before. All right, this one looks good. All right, let's try this. So we have our seven two-mana removal spells to take out Wild Growth Walker, which that's, you know, that's a necessity. Got to take out that Wild Growth Walker immediately. Hmm. Okay, we got a way to take out a Wild Growth Walker. <laughs> Domri loses games. I know we've won. I know before one time when we played this matchup, we won this matchup because of Domri. We won one that we had no business winning of our opponent, like sending a ton of attackers at Domri when they didn't need to. And no, we have to kill Wild Growth Walker. So, Land War Elves gets a check. Gets a pass. Perfect. Here we go. Now we're going. Perfect card. All right, another lightning strike or lava coil, please. Yeah, Hinterland Harbor and Dragon Skull Summit were the only two lands to not get card styles.
All right, at least we got our opponent down to seven. Could maybe draw some more Carnage Tyrants. Draw like another Carnage Tyrant, give it haste with Huntmaster. If I just attack him with Carnage Tyrant, you know, we just trade with a like the Reggie and the basically like the two token parts. We don't get any damage in. Hey, what's up, Zan? All right, Carnage Tyrant, here we go. Tyrant? Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, that was a great block. I think it's still better to do this than to kill the Thief of Sanity. Gotta get that damage in. Game's not over yet. We still have three lightning strikes left. Dang, back to seven. Yeah, the site the Mausoleum Secrets is something that I wanted to try out. I'm not sure if it's gonna be good, but something I wanted to try out against. Or like basically like against like Esper control of having or just Control X in general, having another copy of Liliana for whenever the games go longer. Yeah, 2-1. That looks like a really rough matchup for us. Sure you asked this before, but what card so far in Spark has you the most interested? Well, the, the card that I think is the best, and the one that I'll probably be, you know, playing a lot right away is uh, the new Nicol Bolas. Uh, besides that, Paradise Druid is a card I like a whole lot. The new mana creature. Yeah, the new Nicol Bolas looks crazy. Good part about Arena, you don't have to worry about card prices. You know, you don't have to worry about, oh man, that Nicol Bolas is going to be really expensive. Everybody's going to want it. Just cost four Mythic Wild cards. You know, it's just the same as all the, the rest of them. Oh, I think it's a lot better than Teferi. I think it's a lot better than Teferi. Um, you know, untapping two lands is really good, but... 
having your opponent have to exile a card from their hand or a permanent they control instead of like that's ridiculous the take up does that every time it could it can remove enchantments you just have to have another planeswalker on the battlefield that can remove enchantments because <laughs> it gets all the other abilities too Opponent's down to 10. It, it just looks really good. Obviously, we ha haven't played with the card at all yet. Um, so, you know, there's that, but it looks incredibly good. I just have to kill Wild Growth Walker. Hmm. Yeah, I just have to. But of course, there's there's always cards that that look better and then don't play as well, and then there's cards that don't look as good that play better, kind of thing. And all, you know, and so much so much of it is uh, fueled by whatever other cards are seeing play and what the metagame looks like too. But just from the text on, just the the text on. Um, The text on Nickel Bowl is just looks kind of ridiculous. Kind of the problem with Spawn of Mayhem isn't really with Spawn of Mayhem. It's kind of with the Welcome surrounding parts. Me. Like Mon Spawn of Mayhem just doesn't have any kind of good shell. Like there's just not the rest of like black aggressive, like the rest of like the cards that could go with it. Um, like black aggressive cards are just not very strong. That's the big problem with with Spawn of Mayhem. It's not really with Spawn of Mayhem. Because, yeah, it, it is a very strong card. There's just not... It doesn't have a good base around it. Right now. I've seen things that would break someone like you.
most wounds can heal. It's gonna be tough to win. These planeswalkers on no the other one side. Knows the wilds like I do. After, you know, our creatures just aren't really getting through, and then these planeswalkers are finishing this off. So I think, I think let's try something new. Let's try all of the Collision Colossus. Let's try all of this card. Yeah, I like that card. Let's get rid of these and maybe get rid of Death Gorge Scavenger. I think the whole try to keep them off fine finality thing is is really overrated. And this is just a a small creature that you know trades with their Merfolk Branchwalker, as we're seeing there. Just yuck. Yeah, we're gonna do the twelve hour tomorrow. <laughs> Hawkeye's like, what? Twelve hour tomorrow? Yeah, Hawkeye, twelve hour tomorrow. Yeah, we're doing the sub battle. So it'll be all day it'll be me playing against y'all. Should be a whole lot of fun. Alright, turn three, Ripjaw. Alright, double Colossus at the bottom, unfortunately. <laughs> Ready to play some terrible meme jank and get stomped. You do get you will be able to pick what deck you would like me to play. Or you can choose random. I'll have a wheel. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a wheel uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning that you can spin the wheel for a random deck. And the game's over. See, if we had, like, a Domri, we could start, like, trying to build card advantage and sit back and, you know, try to attack from a different angle. But with only attacking, if they have this, we can't, can't win anymore. Trade Jade Life for Ripjaw and plus draw card. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, random from anything but Esper Control. Yep. Well, we're doing good against everything else besides Sultai with our deck here. Okay. Galta can do stuff. I think I I try to surprise haste Galta here. I think if I just play Galta, my opponent's going to contempt it or cast down or hostage taker. You know, they're, they're going to have something like that for Galta if I just play the Galta. So let's play the Carnage Tyrant, which costs more. Let's see if we maybe draw Regisaur Alpha, and we can just play Alpha plus Galta, and attack for 12. It doesn't even matter, our opponent's at 40 life. What's the best we got?
and that's our one and only Galta. So we don't have anything bigger than Carnage Tyrant right now. Colossus is the best card we could be drawing. We don't have any like active trees and kind of effects or anything like that. We just have to sit back now. Yeah. So if I attack out, they have Galt to block Carnage Tyrant, Wild Growth Walker block anything else, and I can't even Colossus anything else. Like, you know, Colossus makes Carnage Tyrant 11, it doesn't get through Galta. It makes Registrar Alpha 8, it doesn't get through Wild Growth. Yeah, two and two. I think our deck's good against basically like tons of other decks, just not Sultai. Sultai just, Sultai just has everything covered. We have to have like basically we have to like have our opponent not go crazy with Wild Growth Walker. And we have to have like a good hand for that matchup. That's just pretty tough, but I really liked how our deck looked against Teamer Reclamation. Uh, that was a, a pretty impressive showing, and you know, having like these Cinder Vines in there, uh, having all four and everything, that looked to be a pretty decent matchup. Definitely liked that, and I've always liked how our deck is against like the control decks with the um, Cinder Vines and direct damage and all the Carnage Tyrants and everything. Even other aggro decks, we saw us just really outrace Mono White. Um, and I think we outrace basically a lot of the other aggro decks. I like I like our matchups against like Mono Blue, Drakes, all that kind of stuff. Sultai, not so map. Uh, sorry, not so much. And unfortunately, we faced a couple Sultai decks there. Let's, uh, yeah, 2 and 2 is definitely respectable. Let's. Okay, stop. Let's try... Let's play an extra match here in the ranked queue with it. Stop. Yeah, you don't need to bite me. I need to get you, like, a toy to go chew on. Let's... Yeah, let's try another match that's hopefully not Soul Tie. We'll, we'll try an extra match here in the ranked queue. This has been maybe my least favorite card in the deck, the Scavengers, but they're good in other matchups. Declare Dominance has helped you versus Sultai. Is that card in standard? I mean, I guess you said it. I guess I'm thinking of some other Dominance card that rotated out in Kaladesh, I thought. Kaladesh block. What does Declare Dominance do? DJM, DJM with the sub. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, DJM. Hmm. So playing versus Jeskai Guy Control. Do we want to just slam the Registor Alpha? into a likely absorb. I think so.
Uh, thanks, DJ. I'm saying keep up the good work. I love your informative streams and cat. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. They're playing settle. Uh, cast cast those in a different order. Run in. Welcome to the channel. Stop biting me. So I think, like, in case they have Settle, I'd rather have Ripjaw Raptor on the battlefield. It doesn't die to Lava Coil. If they have Deafening Clarion, it draws a card. Alright, got game one. Definitely want all these spell breakers. And our Cinder Vine's gonna do more damage than Lightning Strikes will. Like that's that's our other option here is Cinder Vines or Lightning Strike. Wonder if we could take out fiery candidates from this deck for two cards for Soul Tie in the sideboard. I think so. You know, we're being the aggro decks without this card. I don't know exactly what for Soul Tie matchup, but I think I think that could be the card like this card from the sideboard is probably not that necessary. That could be something to try to help the Soul Tie matchup. A spot. And you know, the help there could be um, like some planeswalkers. Alright, keeping our double carnage iron hand against the control deck. It is slow but hoping to draw into some stuff. You play it more aggressive, but Joe, what could we have done against like those Sultai? Like when they had... Expecting a deafening clarion. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do anything getting through those wild growth walkers. I couldn't. Hey Yud, night's going good. So, Yud, we are doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow because we got to our next quip goal. So we are doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. Saving Allosaurus in case our opponent has like a, a Lyra that I need to fight or something like that. Like a Niv Mizzet. You know, anything like that. Just gonna save this card. Hurry! Right on. 
on schedule. So yeah, doing it from noon to midnight tomorrow. Alright, how many sweepers you got upon it? Let's get Grixis dragons up there. So ideally, our opponent is not able to wrath away two Carnage Tyrants. You just let me know they need a wrath for this Carnage Tyrant, a wrath for this one, a wrath for this one, ideally. So now they're down to five cards, got rid of those two important pieces for them. Because Lyra can just outrace Carnage Tyrant by just attacking for five, attacking for five, and, and so on. First strike is only during combat. Not in a fight situation, only during combat. First strike is just talking about a damage phase, like there is a... All right, well now we're playing another Carnage Tyrant because even if they Wrath Away 2, they're also taking out their Lyra as well. Yeah, basically there's there's a first strike damage phase and then a regular damage phase, and so having first strike just just means it deals damage during that first strike damage phase. Sell the wreckage is annoying. Gosh, settle is really annoying. Yeah, we can beat Settle here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will give us ten mana where I get next turn I get to play Carnage Tyrant and Ripjaw, both with haste. And it forces our opponent to actually have Settle. Which is not a guarantee. Let's slow this down. So they do not have the mana for sale of the wreckage now. So we still don't have to worry about it. And 
And there we go. Three and two. Cat's name is Hawkeye. All right, still before nine. Let's get another one in. We're silver tier one. Maybe we can get to gold. Doing a little extra bonus time after getting our, our second loss here. <laughs> He's just like, why are you not feeding me right now? I don't think so. If that Memorial to Unity was a forest, maybe. Memorial strikes again. We'll probably have to keep this one though, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, good. Do I strike the elf? I guess we do. I don't love striking the elf. Uh, no, not Sultai. Rip. I don't know, Joy, if you say you have a great, or like you usually beat Sultai, I don't know. I mean, this, this hand just isn't that good, of course, but... Ooh. Wait, and then you just don't shock for Llanowar off there? How do you not shock to play a land werewolf right there? After you did that. Alright, can Carnage Tyrant beat the four cards that our opponent has? We'll see. No land drops. Definitely like to draw a land so we can stomp the Wild Growth Walker. Gosh, how do we beat these walkers? But I can't really 
attack this turn because then the Jade Light Ranger kills my Carnage Tyrant. I don't know how I don't know how you win this matchup. How do we beat Wild Growth Walker? My hand was terrible. We haven't really come that close to winning any game yet in our three matches against Sultai. This is obviously coming in. Those come out. But then what else do we do? How do we do, how do we win? I kind of liked the Colossus idea from last time. Say so just okay. We just cut the one Coloss. Okay. We just do this the first same thing we did the first time. Okay. Here we turn. Here we go. So keeping this, like, even though we don't have like the the payoff yet, we have two very important early cards. We have our lightning strike to kill the wild growth walker, and we have hunt master, which is one of our most important things of. Getting our, you know, making our dinosaurs cheaper, giving them haste. Very important. All right, not not even worrying about Wild Growth Walker. Let's. There we go. Let's just go for it here with Alpha. Alpha into Galta. Scavenger is a pretty good draw. We able to play that next turn also. Just hope no car hope no hostage shaker this time. Okay. Alright, I think we got this game. Yeah. Alright, take the spell. Every defeat is a new beginning. Okay, we got a game. Dun, dun. Let's see if we get game three on the draw. That'd be awesome. So what what is this declare dominance card? Five mana sorcery target creature gets plus three plus three until and then all creatures able to block the, this turn do. Alright, again we have like two key pieces there, lightning strike and hunt master. Inglewood Jax, thanks for that resub on Twitch Prime. Hope you're excited for the sub battle stream tomorrow.
That is going to be sub number 118. Or sub battle countdown for our next one is at 118 now. Awesome. Balance. Oh, I've please lost let's so draw register alpha. I won't lose alpha. More. Alpha. Alpha. Ugh. Not quite. Definitely wish that lava coil was a lightning strike. Ooh. To be able to kill the wild growth walker at instant speed. The wilds are my shield. No, I just don't I just don't play modern these days. Chipmunk. Staying with Arena. Miss some definitely miss some Miss casting some noble hierarchs for sure. That was a great turn for us. Get Vivian out of here. I always survive. You'll see. Great, great turn for us. Come on, deck. Finish this off. Mm. Five? Why does it gotta be five? So the double one carnage tyrant. I could have gone Reggie this turn and just lava coil the branch walker so they can't double the carnage tyrant, but I can't really do anything with the Reggie against the 5 5 Krasis anyway. Stop. This is going to be tough. So, yeah. The the reason why, of course, the reason why I didn't attack with that 3-3 three, three was so that if their 6-6 six, six blocked something else, I could coil their 6-6. Six, six. Crisis is good. Just have like Wild Growth Walker is a huge problem. Crisis. 
Oh, I thought we were winning this game. Or just having a better chance. Game's not over yet, though. We could just draw Galta. Just draw Galta. Or a couple lightning strikes. Tired of my opponent hostage taking my register alphas. It's not the first time that's happened. Yeah, we were one mana short of being able to coil that crisis also. And now we're taking lethal, right? That's not lethal, lethal. I don't know if it's bad luck because of three crisis. I mean, if it's not three crisis, it's like all the wild growth walker explore stuff. You know, it's just it's just a combination of everything. Every fight makes me stronger. They have you know millions of cards. Still. They had one crisis for five, one for six, one for six. So yeah, they drew eight cards off those. So 3-0 against non-Sultai, 0-3 against Sultai. Came close there. That, yeah, the reason why I put the opponent's creature in our exile pile, because that was my creature. That was my Registor Alpha that my opponent stole, so it goes back to our side when it goes to exile. I guess we need to play one more. Gosh, that Soul Chai matchup such a beatdown, though. All right, let's play one more. Let's win this World Series. We're at three and three. We're going to game seven. Game seven of the World Series. Okay, we're we gonna win it. We're gonna play against non Sultai. Are we playing against Sultai? What do we got? Alright, looks like we're on the road. The opponent on the play, so they're at home. Pretty good looking hand. Ooh. All right, not soul tie. Get your butt off the screen. All right, come on, Doug, we need lands. Hasty Carnage Tyrants, really good against Mono Blue. Okay, okay. Yeah, Grixis Legends gets an unbelievable amount of upgrades for the next set. We won't get every card countered. Yeah, you know, hopefully we draw one more land and then I can play Drover plus Collision next turn. But we won't get these countered if we can cast them, that is. Hmm. 
Ha. Opponent's fallen into our trap, thinking, oh, that's just a Drover of Mighty. I don't need to counter that. What they don't know is they really needed to Stone Rain us. Because we are going to wreak carnage. Here, after we draw this land. Alright. We need a land deck. I was a little slow on heating up the de heating up the draw, but we got there. Next turn, lethal. With double carnage tyrant. I'm really glad our opponent's not... I guess they probably just don't have Trickster, but I'm really glad they're not Trickstering the Huntmaster. Boom! Carnage Tyrant. Stomping time. Stomp, 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 stomp. So if we have collisions and coils... Cut Scavenger... Play Spellbreaker. I mean, Spellbreaker is awesome in this matchup. We kind of have too many good cards for this matchup. Like, all these cards are good. Do I cut Drover since I have so much... If I bring in all this interaction... The problem with fi Fiery Cannonade doesn't kill a lot of stuff. It doesn't even kill the Storm Tamer. doesn't kill, you know, like Tempest Gen and all that kind of stuff. It And then it also, like, kills my Huntmaster. And I don't like it. Sad to see no Rhythm of the Wilds. Don't need it too much. We have Huntmaster giving our creatures haste. Curve's too high. Like, Commune's like a... Even if that's a red source, that's like, you know, two lander. But then we have the five, five, and six. Savage Stomp. I should take out Savage Stomp in this matchup. I missed that card. That should be a dinosaur. That should be a rip jaw. I want to see if they play Terramander. I wanted to shock Terramander. Honestly, though, I should probably just be shocking right away because of Charter Course. I was thinking about that, like, whenever I let them go to combat. Alright, so we're up a game here. We're, I guess we're, took the early lead of Game 7 of the World Series. This, this being another Ripjaw Raptor would be a little better for us, but... 
they're just going to counter it with Storm Tamer. I mean, they could have Dive Down also, though. If they have Dive Down, then my Ripjaw dies. But just some people, for some reason, just don't counter stuff with Storm Tamer. It happens sometimes. Alright, we got three Lava Coil, four Collision Colossus. one of those. Bertley man! For 21 months. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, yeah, let's get the stomp out of here. And get another Ripjaw in, especially on the play. Like it. Okay, let's go. Ooh, come on, deck. We can do this. Lava coil, lightning strike. Gets us some stuff. Just hit some land drops. No draw two with Charter Course. Yeah, awesome. You want to do the, the Harry's Razors things, Captain Love? Yeah. So just, um, you know, go through the referral link. Make, make sure you sign up for the subscription as well. And, you know, the subscription is cancelable anytime, but you get $5 off for that. And then, of course, put in that coupon code ToddStevensMTG to get another $5 off. You need to turn off your ad block for the notification to come up here on stream and for it to, for it to count right away. Hey, Burly Man gifted out some subs. So, Joycey Muck... 30 dap star ig usa and big king big king bears y'all can take y'all uh can take part of the sub battle countdown tomorrow or the sub battle stream also tomorrow with getting those gifted subs congratulations That gets us to 112 towards the next sub battle stream. Surge Mare is huge. That's a big creature. Okay, this is a start. No counter spell. Okay, this is a start. How do we draw land and Carnage Tyrant next turn? We need both of them.
I guess we just need register alphas. More alphas. An opponent not have any counter spells? Like how how's that gonna happen with them having Surge Mare? Drawing looking at three cards a turn. If deck if deck master's not working, you need to refresh it. It should be working. It, everything says that it's working. At least. Oh, I need to leave one more creature back. Okay, well, they hit the land, so they get to activate that thing anyway. But yeah, I think I need one more. Whoa. They didn't want to just hit for lethal? All right, so can we get Galta? All right, come on, Galta. Come on, Galta. Opponent didn't attack us for lethal. They could have. Did not. Let's get Galta. Come on, Galta. Oh, it's not a Galta, but who knows? It's a lot. It's just attack. Not quite enough. Dang. Wow. We did draw double Registrar Alpha, which is pretty nice, but... Opponent gave us a shot. Galta would have done it. Close game. Close game. <laughs> yeah, Mold of Five is... Auto lose, yeah. Our, yeah, Mold of Five's tough. And that's what we did there. So I think I learned. I think I, I think I learned that I oversideboarded there. The the main thing that I I don't like that I did for that matchup is take out the Drover of the Mighties. I think that was my biggest mistake with that matchup. I think I need to keep in all of the Drover Drover of the Mighties also. And I th I think that maybe we just don't need all of the Maybe Lava Coils or Collisions. Maybe just don't bring in Spellbreaker. Even though Spellbreaker is really good in that matchup. Honestly, we like how we talked about, we have good cards in that matchup anyway. So I think next time I just wouldn't bring in Spellbreaker. Keep in Drover and uh, go with it like that. So I think I think that was that was my mistake for the sideboarding. You know, we got the game one, and then I think I went overzealous, uh, especially with the Spellbreakers there. But yeah, Mold of Five is tough. So... Um, overall, uh, I like our deck, and I think we are good against, you know, basically everything but Sultai. You know, Joey says that they don't like the mono-white matchup the most, but that one's the tougher one. Um, but doesn't mind the Sultai matchup as much as I do. Which ha adding in the Colossuses into the main deck and having more Colossus in the board that that's a good way to help the mono white matchup. That's a critical card for that matchup for sure. So that's that's good additions there. Yeah, Surge Mirror sideboard. Yeah. Yep. All right. Some I some people do play Surge Mirror main deck. It, it happens. You do run into a couple people to play Surge Mirror main deck, but it's almost always sideboard. All right, so that's Gruel Dinos. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video.